the crave the crave was good and we enjoyed it and uh she's uh she's on the shelf <laughs> <laughs> for posterity my ship's not sinking oh that's too high my daughter, so can wake up the children. Oh, she really is. Yes, yes. Voice of an angel. What'd you say? Uh, voice of an angel. In a burp. <laughs> like, we've been working on this for a year. A year. A freaking year. <laughs> what do you mean by play? On. On. Words. <laughs> <laughs> Words. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I have been spelling it wrong for <laughs> all these years. The fact that you've been spelling it semi correctly. It's not surprising <laughs> to anybody. No. I had the ING down. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey! Welcome, everyone. Again. So We're I know. still alive. I can tell. I can tell. It's been a while. Welcome it's been a while. Again. We are. I'm so excited uh, right now. We have the Crave podcast coming to you um, from a little bit different venue these days. <laughs> the sweatshop. <laughs> the sweatshop. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so first things first. If you are looking at, if you if you if you're looking at the uh, iPod, um, uh, the playlist. Well, it doesn't matter where you got it. Get a little bit different title, right? So it said new guys, different. What is what, what was the same crew? New same, name. same crew name, different name, right? So, as you can tell from the title, we have renamed the podcast to Praying Man Podcast. What does that mean? Well, it means that we we've actually got a brand new company. Um, we we always wanted to. <laughs> well, not brand new. We've been working on it a long time. <laughs> That's true. That's hence, true. Hence our significant hiatus since the <laughs> last episode. So we do apologize. It's been a while. For the delay. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. Glad to be back. But so the Praying Man podcast is is an extension of Praying Man Outfitters. And that's a, that's a new company, an apparel company that, that we uh, are launching um, in the outdoor business, in the outdoor landscape, right? Right. So something that we've we've wanted to do for a long time, something that we've been thinking about, and uh, we've had uh, many, 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 many hours <laughs> in planning and prepping and and putting together. So we're really excited, really proud. We're really proud of it, man. It's 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 a really cool thing. So um, as an extension of the, of the business, the Praying Man Outfitters, um, we wanted to continue continue with the with podcast. Because it's something we're passionate about, something we have a lot of fun doing, and it's and it's a great way to connect with with everybody out there. So, um, the crave the crave was good, and we enjoyed it. And uh, she's uh, she's on the shelf <laughs> <laughs> for posterity, um, but uh, you know another chapter uh, moving on. So same guys, same premise, but new name: Praying Man Outfitters, Praying Man Podcast. So that being said, gentlemen. Tell me what you guys think when you when you when you think of praying man outfitters. Go ahead, Nate. Yeah. What do you well, think? Well, so just to just talk a little bit about the the name. So obviously, there's a little bit of play on words there. You know, we well I'll explain that because most people man. are going to get it right. So praying sure. man. So I mean, what do you I, mean by that, uh, that can go a lot of different ways? Right? What do you mean by play on on <laughs> words? <laughs> <laughs> <Words. laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Right. So we as hunters and fishermen, right? That's our lifestyle. That's our passion. And we don't just pursue game just for killing the biggest biggest rack, most mature animal out there. I mean that's that's always the goal if if possible to kill kill the most mature animal you can. But it's also about putting food on the table too. So with that in mind, that's the praying aspect. You know, we pursue game for sustenance you know right and, and that's that's a large portion of of the the value that we get in that activity in that lifestyle so let's back it up just a second i mean first of all it's and the one thing that i think is always tough when when you're dealing with you know a project that you're really close to is that you are close to it right you're super close to it you've been like we've been working on this for a year 
a year. A freaking year. Yeah. <laughs> Nate, and I've been working out, Nate and I have been working out for a year. John's been working out for about three months. Thanks for having me, guys. And, <laughs> and he's been doing a great job. We're been gonna, invaluable yeah. in that yeah, time yeah. frame. Fant- fantastic <laughs> job. But so, you know, one thing that I think, you know, uh, and it's very common to any new business is you get, you get such in a vacuum, as they say business term of the day mm. um mm. john <laughs> thank you uh well i mean you just you know you you sometimes lose that uh casual observer eye so just to back up a little bit praying man is spelled with an e p-r-e-y-i-n-g praying man um opposed to praying man p-r-a-y-n-g and um just a little bit of a genesis of where we came up with this so nate nate d-o-double-g here came up with the name in that kitchen right there um, over a year ago when we were trying to talk about a podcast name and you said praying man tees. Cause we were talking about like, man, it'd be cool if we could launch an apparel brand at some point point. Mm-hmm. and praying man tees like play on praying mantis. Right? right. So praying mantis in, in, in the insect world, as it pertains to the insect, it's spelled P R A I N G P R A Y I N G because it looks like it's praying. Right, so I have been attack. spelling it wrong for <laughs> all these years. The fact that you've been spelling it semi correctly. It's not surprising is. to anybody. <laughs> no, I had the ing down. Yeah. So I just wanted to go back. So, so now, now that we've established how we spell it, p r e y i n g, like I'm praying on something, correct, rather than I'm praying to something. Not that we're strangers to that either, but that's the way we spell it: p r e y i n g. We are praying on something. So. Go ahead. Sorry. Just wanted to clarify. Sure. Yeah. Well, so obviously you'll notice that the praying mantis is the, the centerpiece of the logo. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how we came up with that as well, uh, the play on praying mantis. Plus, you know, in the insect world, praying mantis is pretty much the penultimate predator. It's badass. Yeah. It's a wicked bug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, and we, you know, we looked at it and we we're like, hey, you know, like, we can we come up with something for outdoorsmen for hunters and fishermen um alike you know just outdoorsmen in general um whether you trap or you you know you target shoot or you know you you know you bow hunt or you fly fish whatever the case may be you know where we can you know find something that culminates all of that together you know and it's like you know you see things you know deer antlers have been done and done again and in and you know like we didn't want to pigeon our pigeonhole ourselves into something you know, like into one specific, um, you know, type of, of of hunting or fishing. So, the the praying mantis is really cool, not only from a name st- uh, standpoint, um, but also you know something that you know we all do. You know, whether you're shed hunting, you know, you're you're preying on you know the ground. You're looking for you know you're looking for that shed, or you're bow hunting. Obviously, that's you know you get more intimate with the animal. Um, fishing, fly fishing, whatever, whatever the case may be. It's, you know, you are, you know, predator becomes, you know, you know, dominant out there. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was cool. It's cool. What do you, what do you think, John? Very little I know. Well, (laughs) um, you know, if, uh, I wish they would have told me before I started this 45 day at home DIY human growth hormone program (laughs) that, um, you know, memory, um, cognitive uh, retainability was going to be, um, you know, severely affected. Um, yeah, the Praying Man brand uh, was spawned out of uh, you know everything that we've that we have talked about, and um, and that's really just the you know the umbrella uh, of of over the whole business. Uh, you know, the Crave we're going to carry that with us, you know, the spirit of that podcast and it'll just be, you know, renamed. Um, you'll still, you know, have Jake's, um, you know, uh, you know, mohawk. little, Oh, well, you'll have the Mohawk, but you'll, you know, you'll have <laughs> his, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, half accurate depictions of how things actually happen. And mm-hmm. you'll have, you'll have, uh, Fantastic. you know, Nate's, uh, you know, sustainability there as far as, uh, you know what not to do, um, but uh, yeah. So you mean jitterbug? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll get back to that. Nick yeah, man. absolutely. But no, we're just super excited <laughs> about the the new the new path that we're going down, and and we really appreciate 
you know, everybody that has listened so far and we're going to grow this thing. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty awesome. And, you know, and it's not just going to be, you know, specifically, you know, everything's not going to be, you know, praying man on the, uh, on the apparel, but you know, and when we go into the woods and gosh, we, and I'm sure just like everybody else out there, you know, there are so many things that, uh, you know, make you kind of proud to be where you're at, you know, to be a part of something. And a lot of our apparel, you know, while some of it may be, um, you know, in jest, um, but a lot of it's reality, you know, I mean, it's just things that everybody deals with. Um, and it's going to be, um, it's going to be really cool. We got a You're lot referencing of your shirt right uh, now? Well, this is just one of them. I mean, uh, I do smell and I'm sure that's what the, the elk think of me when, when we walk into the woods, but a lot of stuff in the hopper, and there's a lot of, uh, you know, just things that ring true to us, you mm-hmm. know, as outdoors when, uh, men and women. Um, so, yeah, no, we're uh, we're in, you know, we're passionate about, you know, offering that and, and making that stuff, and, and yeah, so that's kind of what, what well, we're about. Well, yeah, then those, those are all, all valid points and good points and, and accurate points and, and, and things that... <clears throat> You know, when we started this company, you know, we wanted to, you know, we we wanted to embrace the outdoor lifestyle. And, you know, uh, and the one thing that I think we all struggle with is that, um, you know, we 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 want to be proud of of what we do. And we are proud of what we do. Right. We want yeah. to when we want to show that off. Right. You know, so a lot of times we within our group of, of, of guys and gals that we hunt and fish with, um, whether it's in camp or, or, you know, on the tailgate of a truck after a fishing trip, you know, you can do that and, and, and hang out. Right. But, you know, outside of that, like, like 98% of our life is spent outside of that time. So, you know, whether we're at work or we're going, you know, out to eat or, you know, going to a kid's soccer or football game, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, a lot of times you're like, Hey, you know, like I want to, I want to express myself, um, in those times too. And, and so many times we, you know, we look in our closet and we're like, okay, well that's camo, that's camo, you know, that's, that's a base layer with like a super small logo of something, you know, like, and not that those things aren't cool, but like you want to be a little bit more proud of, and representative of what you do. So, you know, that's kind of what Praying Man is. It's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a fun, cool way of, of representing, you know, what you do, whether it's fishing or hunting, um, or just being an outdoorsman and, and being able to do it in a, in a, in a kind of a classy way. Um, you know, it's, you're not going to see a lot of designs from us, um, you know, that are, are hokey or, or over the top, you know, in a, in a way that paints the outdoorsman in, in kind of a, a negative light or a stereotypical light. Um, so, you know, we want to be kind of clever about it. So, you know, John's shirt right now says, in quotation marks, you smell, you know. Signed elk. Signed. Signed the elk. elk. Right. So. Um, Which is pretty much, you know, that's super can, accurate. That would <laughs> encapsulate our whole 2018 yeah. season. Yeah. yeah. Everybody uh, knows you got to mind yeah. the wind when you're elk. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So when you walk into an establishment and, you know, you are wearing one of our shirts, um, hats, hoodies, whatever it may be, you know, we kind of want those those folks out there that are outdoorsmen to kind of look at you and be like, hey, you know, I get I get I get it <laughs> like we're tight. I know what you're saying, man. Um, so that's what we're all about. And, and you know, to Nate's point with the Manus and John's point with, you know, the representation of what we are and who and who we are. Um, you know, that's what we want to achieve. And uh, I think currently, you know, we we launched and we have a lot of good offerings and we're going to continue down that road um, with your support and your advice. You know, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see. Um, you know, we have a section about, um, you know, your your piece of dirt, you know, your, your honey hole, wherever it is that you hunt, whatever state that is, Pennsylvania, Oregon, Wisconsin, Texas, wherever you are, you know, we want to, you know, embrace that, embody that with whatever makes you tick and, you know, bring that out in a graphic. So, um, Nader, you know, like we have the praying man apparel, you're wearing a a hat that says Chrome. Do you want to just kind of go into that a little bit, both you and John? Yeah. So that's, that's part of our kind of fishing line. 
or I should say the fishing portion of our line. We want to incorporate hunting and fishing. Um, and most of us are, are pretty big. You know, from the Pacific Northwest, salmon and steelhead fishing is big business here. Um, a lot of people are involved in that and take, take a lot of uh, um, pride in that activity. And so uh, with that, you know, when you're chasing uh, steelhead and, and salmon, everybody's excited when they get that chrome fish, so to speak, that real bright chrome colored fish everybody's super stoked about that so that's kind of what we wanted to capture uh with that with this logo um and it kind of represents salmon and steelhead all right thanks nader um john anything else on chrome um being our resident uh chromatic man yeah so i mean there are there's gonna and listen i mean there's gonna be a lot of a lot of offerings a lot of uh you know things that strike home with each and you know every one of us you know and uh you know people that you know uh, you know that we you know can relate to just outdoors people and you know men and women in general um but chrome being uh one of the uh kind of uh, pinnacle offerings in the in the fishing side of it um because who doesn't you know love to get themselves some some chrome as far as uh, salmon and steel go um that being said i mean hey you know I will. I guarantee you, I will be wearing a chrome hat and posing with pictures of boots, old salmon that are past their prime, <laughs> and th- that's yeah. going to be on social media. Um, you know, boots. If I can, boots. So you know, like a, a very dark salmon. That's what you call them. Yeah, they're old. You know, that's what's what some it's an people old call boot, them. Huh? You know, that's a boot. You mm. know, it's uh, it's an old catcher's it's, uh, net. Huh? It's, uh, it's, you know, a little <laughs> sling. You'll get it, Jake. You spend a few more years. <laughs> I can't Oregon, wait to you'll catch get my it. first steelhead salmon. Yeah. Whatever. And salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? No, uh, I can see uh, it. Next spring, Smalley, that's a boot. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, but, Check uh, out these boots. We love them. We love the... You we see love the, the boots on her? Yeah. Some, you know, hey, okay. you know, dark dark or chrome, you know, they all get some love. So, <laughs> uh, but, you know, that being said, uh, you know, that'll be kind of encompassing over the fishing side of it. But there'll be a lot more. Yeah. You know, there'll be a lot. You know, it's just, we're, we're going to... This is a new venture for us, and we we don't know everything, obviously, but we do know that we're passionate, and we do know that, you know, we have Jake's, you know, obviously we have some creative guys on the team, and uh, we're gonna bring some cool stuff. Yeah, for um, sure. you know, myself, I think, you know, what I bring to the table, you know, a, a extra large, you know, type, uh, you know, obese type model, you know, I mean, yeah. any, any yeah. kind of, you know, your two X's and your three X's out there. You're our Lane Bryant. I am your guy. You're our Lane Bryant. <laughs> I'll be your, <laughs> you know, I'll be your, uh, you know, when we'll, we'll put, put pictures on the website. Um, and, uh, you know, truth be told, there's, you know, very, uh, efficient people out there that are, uh, you know, plus, plus 200. <laughs> so, um, that being said, uh, another thing I want to point out, um, is that just one, uh, well, just one, okay. just one for now. There'll be more. Uh, you know, well, something I'm really proud of is um, back in kind of the uh, the infancy of of when we started kicking this kicking this around, this idea around is we wanted to have control as far as you know lead times, uh, designs, um, and just the ability to turn stuff, you know, from its from its idea phase to actually final product phase. And so we're doing this by ourselves, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and we knew nothing about apparel as far <laughs> as the production <laughs> side of it. Yeah. Garments, uh, you know, different fitting, different body types, and then how to put an image on a garment. And I'm pretty proud of the fact that, you know, it, it has, you know, it's, we've learned a lot. We have a really steep learning curve, but, you know, we're making this stuff. Mm-hmm. This is us. Yeah. We're not sending this off to, uh, you know, a company overseas saying, hey, what do you think? And, you know, we want a hundred of these, hundred of these. Um, this is us. I mean, yeah. this is printed in yeah. Oregon. We're not yeah. outsourcing this, this is, stuff. Um, you know, a, this is in one of our three garages. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. sometimes two. Yeah, you know, two or three garages. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, so <sighs> this is uh, you know we're making this with our hands. Um, so we're you know we're connected to it in that regard. Every every piece of uh, you know 
we might have to edit this out, but every piece of clothing you buy is going to have one of our DNAs on it. Uh, <laughs> All over it. Sweat. <laughs> just, you know, skin, you yeah. know, something. Yeah, you so know, look forward to that. We're touching the stuff. Yeah, um, yeah no. Um, but, yeah, so it's, we're you know, we're vested and we're excited to offer this and bring this to, you know, anybody that wants to wear it. You know, it's, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're excited for the, you know, the opportunities ahead of us, but... Um, yeah, you know, the brand is, is pretty awesome. And, you know, obviously I think there's that, you know, just with like, you know, a lot of the, the Northwest manufacturers, um, you know, there's a lot of great ones out there, but, and we know a lot of them, you know, um, whether you're yeah. an archery shop owner or you make your own game calls, um, you know, Phelps, um, you know, Faro stuff, like we, like it's a tight knit group, but there comes, there comes a, a sense of pride and ownership when it's made in the States. Right. Right. You know, or, you know, you know, or the majority of it is. And, um, you know, to be able to make, be cognizant of where you spend your money, you know, it's hard to, you know, we earn whatever we make on a day by day basis. <laughs> and so like being co- you know, being able to put those dollars back into, you know, a local company, you know, there's some, you know, for me personally, there's, there's some pride with that. And, um, yeah. So anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited. There's For paint sure. on my fingers right now. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot, there's yeah. ink. There's ink there. So, yeah. yeah. No, one we're, more point we're to that, stoked. too. I mean, we spent a lot of time and dollars getting samples from all kinds of different uh, uh, different shirt manufacturers and things, too, to, mm-hmm. to find good quality stuff. Like, th- this isn't your typical 100% cotton, right? Uh, you know, you know like grandpa's shirts basically you know yeah, th- right. these are good good quality blends that feel good they still fit well after washes yeah. you know not to bash on 100 percent cottons because there's there are some really high quality 100 percent cotton shirts out there but there's also some really low quality <laughs> <100% cotton laughs> i didn't want to name names so, yeah but, yeah, uh, but the, the i still wear my base layer my base layer during <laughs> early season hunting when it's yeah. 85 degrees i want a cotton yeah. i want a cotton base layer cotton kills <laughs> yeah they're very good chance that uh, if you live in the northwest you'll be able to put your hands on this stuff in a you know in a local uh you know uh you know dealer but um yeah they're high quality stuff right like we take pride in 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 you know what we do um you know in the in not only you know in how you know in the woods but you know, like in just in a products you know you know being in the industry we we uh we can definitely relate to you know good good quality products and low quality products. And we use a lot of those and we don't use a lot of the low quality ones. And so we wanted to bring something that, you know, is high quality, you know, even if it didn't mean as high margins, but you know, we just, we just wanted to put something out there that we we would be proud to to wear. Right. We want to be, you know, and that's, that's kind of the bottom line was when we, when we, when we create a design, um, you know, and we put it on a garment or a hat, you know, we look at the hat, we look at the design, and then we kind of, you know, run it between the three of us, say, like, would we wear this? And we'd be proud to wear this. And if the answer is yes, then, yeah, we go forward. With it. If it's no or if it's, like, you know, uh, uh, you know if there's any type of uh, hesitation, then most likely we go back to the drawing board. So, and that usually means more hours, you know, behind the computer and then, you know, behind the print uh uh, the press and you know and then review so you know we want it we want to make something that that everybody's happy and proud to 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 wear and that's printed in the u.s and that's that's super important for us so um you know they're not all going to be winners but we we want to you know put forth a product that we're super proud of and, and that you can be proud to wear too so um I can't. I can't really add anything to that. I mean, that's that's definitely where we where we are and where and who we are, uh, and we want to continue. Um, the only thing I'll add to that is like we, you know, we want we want your voice. We want we want your voice to be heard. So um, when you see our products and uh, you are looking for something different, or you're looking for something new, or you're looking for the you know the next step um, uh, in 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 praying man wear, we want to hear from you. So you know, let us know. There's three of us. Um, we want, you know, listen, you know, it's, it's not, if you've, if you've listened to any of our previous podcasts, you know, you know that we've been integrated into the hunting industry pretty tightly and, you know, we've been involved with some, some larger manufacturers. So we know how important that customer service is and we want to make sure that our business <laughs> um, is, it, it, it cuts no corners. It is it is one hundred percent about the customer and your satisfaction and your feedback is is 
is what it's about. So um, you can you can bet that if you email us or if you get a hold of us on social media that we will get back to you uh, in a timely manner and we, and we take it very seriously. So um, that being said, uh, I'm going to throw it to Nate and and as far as our social handles. Um, but uh, before I do that, um, and this will be, not be the only time you see this, but it's prayingman.com, P-R-E-Y. I N G M A N dot com, praying man with an E dot com, and then socially, Nader. Where can yeah, you, find you just us? search for, we're on Facebook and Instagram both. If you just do a search for praying man with an E on both of those platforms, we'll come right up as well. And anybody that's been following us thus far under the Crave podcast, uh, you're, you're still going to be following us. Those, those platforms will continue. We're just going to change the name on that. So you'll notice, uh, y- you know, you're already following us. We'll just have a new name at this point going forward. So when we, we took a quick, quick break in the middle of this and we, we got reset and, and uh, you know, kind of got settled again. But anybody that hasn't met us yet, <laughs> my, my name is Jake Siegel. This is John Eastburn. This is Nathan Bailey. Um, probably one thing that we spaced and we probably take for granted the fact that you maybe listen to a podcast or two. But if you haven't, which... Hopefully we have a lot of new listeners and a lot of new <laughs> followers. You know, that's who we are. Um, we, we are from the Northwest. We kind of hail from different areas. Um, <clears throat> Nate's originally from the uh, East Coast. I'm from the Midwest. John was born and raised here in the Northwest um, in Oregon. And we all live here now. Nate's leaving us, and he's moving to Portland for some ungodly reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're all we're all relatively close. But um, that's who we are. We, 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 we're... Most likely, if you're listening to this, we're just like you. We we love to get out. We love to hunt and fish, public lands, fair chase. You know, we've we've done that our whole lives. Um, we have been fortunate enough to been involved with uh, uh, an archery manufacturer um, for about a decade and and learned a lot and and made a lot of great contacts. But um, it's it's been a blessing and and it's just been so great to be involved in in this industry. And we just want to take that and then kind of move it forward with with our uh, outdoor apparel brand so that's who we are uh check out our website if you want to learn a little bit more about us and and, and what we do and what type of food we like to eat and our favorite color and you know <laughs> that sort of thing so <laughs> right <laughs> you guys got anything else <clears throat> nate you good i think i think that covers it for now do you keep definitely keep in tune now that now that our launch is here and yeah, the we do more of this. The biggest load of work is behind us. We'll we'll be back on point as yeah, far as sure. podcasts go. So we're gonna have new guests coming up, um, you know, in new subjects and uh, be on the lookout. We'll be uh, much more frequent on the on the podcast drops now going forward. Yep. So I mean, we definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and listening and uh, providing comments and and ratings for us on all the the platforms. The that uh, you can find us on. So yeah, leave us a re- rating and review, man. It's 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 uh takes just so little time, and but it makes it makes all the difference on our end. So if you want to promote a brand and you, and you like what you see and you like the shirts and you like the hats and you like the podcast or if you like any one of the three, um, just give us give us a rating and it, it just helps immensely it, it, more than any donation or or anything like that, that that's huge so so please 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 yep. do that let us know we'll, we'll have a newsletter you can sign up for on the on the website as well so you'll be able to get notifications when new designs come out and any kind of sales or specials are going on and yeah. same with uh, our social media platforms too give us a follow yeah. on those and and yeah. keep on the lookout for uh, for those promotions yep. so New designs. If you got if you got ideas for new designs, you know we're 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 definitely aware of that. You know we're we're from we we've we've now live in the Northwest, and a lot of our designs, you know, are elk and kind of Western related. But we want to we want to branch out. We want to get more Eastern, uh, you know, w- you know, walleye, northern pike, musky, those type of fish. Um, you know, w- whitetail, obviously, and that sort of thing. So we got a lot more a lot more to offer, um, and we're we're really excited to to bring that forward. So, Johnny. No, absolutely. I mean, it's just he's pretty much comatose. everything. <laughs> he's no longer with us. <laughs> Put um, him to sleep. No, just super uh, excited and passionate yeah. for the new season ahead and uh, look forward to, uh, you know, uh, knocking it out of the park. So Cool. Thanks, everybody. Really, really appreciate it. Again, that's prayingman.com with an E, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G-M-A-N.com.